Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh and I have a dad cold right now. So basically I'm gonna die if my wife doesn't help me. So my son went to a trampoline camp for the week, came back, and I'm the only one else who got sick next to him. Thanks. I love you. And no, it's not COVID, I'm fully vaccinated unless it is COVID and I don't, whatever. Anyway, today we're talking about the Fizz family, this new video they got out. I've been, these guys have been on my mind for a long time. They took a month long break. I did some videos back in the past about them and I wanna bring them back to the forefront because these guys are sick and like they all are. But we wanna make sure we're covering it, we're sticking on top of it. And uh, before we get to that though, we're gonna dance with the Patreons. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Baby. Vanessa Borquez. Whew. Let's see what you win. Come on, someone's gotta win a shirt sometime. It was close, dang it. Sorry, just a sticker, Vanessa, my bad. All right. All right, this one's for the YouTubers. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Aloha! Alright, Leanne Penning. Here we go. Let's win. Please. Ooh, it looks like an all three packs. It's a three pack. It's a three pack. That's not bad. Anyway, let's get to it. Honestly, there's nothing worse than having a cold as a man. Shuts you right down. Although I did have kidney stones, that was pretty bad. This is bad though. This is a bad cold. It's not terrible, it's just stuffy, you know? I don't feel like, I feel a little exhausted, but like it's all up in here. And that's why I sound like I sound like. So I'm really sorry that you have to hear this, but deal with it. Let's get into this video with the Fizz fam. It's called Answering Personal Questions About Mia Without Her There. So first of all, Thing I could say right there is like, no and no, don't answer personal questions about your daughter or your sister ever, but even when they're not there, it kind of is gross. And they've got this on the top of their page. You want to take a look at their page real quick. If you don't know anything about the Fizz Fam, they got this, it's like their first video you come into. But Fizz Family have 2.3 million subscribers. They are a vagabond family, a uh, family that travels the world and has no place to live. They literally build houses and stay in different places. Um, we, co we covered this in a previous video that they are likely not even legally allowed to have Mia where she is, okay? Um, but they are crazy and they have more money than most people so they can pay for the legal things. But likely what they've done here is not cool. Okay, they're out, they're out on the lamb for something. We don't know what it is. They ref, they aren't going back to the UK. They something's up. Okay, we don't know about this family too much, but we know that Mia is their 16 year old daughter that is not the biological daughter. Um, she's hypersexualized on this channel, and she her acne is spoken of her periods and everything. It's it's just the standard shit. It's a standard family exploiting their children. If you watch yesterday's video, we talk about that a lot. I talk about that a lot every day. But they got 652 million views. They make a lot of money. And apparently they're vegan, which is okay. Whatever. I'm not gonna make fun of vegans because Jeff's a vegan. I love Jeff. But ch chill. Just get some. Have you ever had bacon? It's so good. Anyway, so let's get into this video. If you didn't know, they are just they're pretty popular, but I don't like them. Let's get hey guys, how's it going? Have you all do Michaela us know in the comments on our family fizz Instagram account what is good about your day? Hang on, I'm speaking of that first. There is that. Walmart Chris Tomlin over here. He needs to chill on the haircut. All right, let's do this. Be a quick word from our sponsor. I got to point out, watch the little kid in the middle. I mean, I know I've got her blanked, but she's got this like, she's looking at the screen and she's like groomed to be smiling the way she's smiling. She's like a stage child. I watch these kids and I see the absolute like vacuous, empty space that a child should be in. And it scares me because children should be able to be children and not have to be forced to work. Let's not forget about child labor laws. They, they likely live in a country now where there are no child labor laws. 
Toby News. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good Welcome evening. back to Toby News. Who wears Aviator City News? In a world gone absolutely flipping bonkers, we are our only source of real news. As opposed to all the fake news. I'm your host. Please, stop. Toby. And I'm a Toby. In today's special broadcast, we're bringing to you a share the smile shout out. We've just been- Okay, we're not watching this shit. It's in the world, don't we, Toby? That concludes this evening's episode. Day, evening, day. Day's episode. Toby! Toby! Hi. Dislike these people. It's Toby News, you guys Thank are real you. swell guys. I really fancy the male TV presenter as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's your husband. Got it. Excellent jokes here. People watch this again. Likely kids. Okay, what's the jeans? What's with the jeans here? It's a big old no for me. And we are so excited to be filming this video today. What we're going to be doing is taking it in turns. Amia has volunteered first. And we're going to be answering lots of questions about her, which she has chosen, which you have given us. I've got some amazing questions from you guys, which you gave to us on our Instagram. Oh, so Mia okayed the personal questions. Still not good. Still dumb. Let's start. Mia Naylor said, most annoying thing about Mia. Mess. Mess. I oh, can't man. stand Mess. It. Mess. It's like constantly just like making a smoothie and then just leaving like the jar and the yeah. sink with the- Welcome to teenagers. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I have two of those a holes. Those. I mean, we're a pretty messy family in, in general. But dang, those guys are extra. Straw and all like she's made like a chocolate smoothie, and it's all going. Can you have chocolate if you're a vegan? All the residue. Yes. Has she ever snuck out? This is a very interesting question, considering yeah. what happened last night. Now she yeah. didn't sneak out. No. She went out with our permission. We knew where she was going. We knew what she was doing. So the answer would be no. Again, Mia and these little girls, and I think they're all girls, to be honest with you. Maybe there's a boy. None of them have friends because these people move like once a month somewhere to a different country. So what we know about the Fizz family is these kids aren't getting a proper education, first of all, at all. Okay, they're being used and exploited to the, for this channel. They move about once a month or once every two months. Maybe they've lasted six months in a spot, but they're always moving. Okay, they don't have any friends at all. Zero friends because they have to be working. Their friends are their parents. So who's she sneaking out to see? Well, we never arranged a time for her to come back. Yeah. And then we went to bed and then we heard the door <laughs> go. I had to lean over and look at the time because it woke me up and it was 11.54 p.m. Yeah. So we've had words about that. Yeah. We okay. I said that's too late, but where we're living at the moment, people do stay up later. Like in the UK, that's classed really late, but here yeah. in Costa Rica, like in Spain, I think people's like bedtimes are much later. And feel good the next yeah, day. She really, really well. Yeah, she was really, really tired. She was so tired. What, what's the, with the friggin' Norris nuts editing here? Stop that. This morning. Does Mia secretly drink or smoke at parties? No, I know she definitely um, doesn't do that because like one, me and Mia have talked about like drinking and smoking in the past, you know, we've had all of those. Like, What's with this little girl just in the middle? They're talking about drinking and personal questions. She's just smiling at the camera. It's really weird. These kids are it's so scary for these kids that they're so groomed like this. She's just sitting there quietly smiling at a camera. And does she have a teenage tantrum, if any? Sorry about this. Maybe it's not politically correct. But um, from a male perspective, I definitely noticed that Georgie and Mia <laughs> seem to have a bit of a funny turn about once every three and a half, four weeks or so. So typical. Yeah, we get it. They're their period, so they are always angry. Something like that. Yeah. Always like takes me by surprise where suddenly they're just really moody. It takes this little girl just sitting in the middle here, smiling weirdly at the camera. Just smiling at the camera while her parents are talking about periods and all this stuff. Do you guys not see a problem with this? Am I am I just maybe a little too oversensitive at this point where I'm like looking for things to hate on? But that to me, it's just it's it does not belong here. It takes me by surprise. Me and Mia's cycles haven't synced up yet, and I can always tell. I'm like, Mia, your, your periods. Again, ladies who watch the show, would you want your mother talking about this on a YouTube channel for everybody to see her? Like, like I get it. I'm not saying it's gross to have a period. This is natural human. This is what we do. We poop, we pee, we bleed. 
we do things. It's just the way it is. But at the same time, you don't have to celebrate it to the world. You don't have to. The mom doesn't have to say these things. Again, the question was about as she does she have tantrums then you brought up the periods he brought the period stuff then you went on it you think mia was expecting that your period aren't you and then she's like no no and i'm like you definitely are because she gets really moody does she have tantrums with you sometimes yeah i feel <laughs> like i love how sienna's being so tactful she's like mia might get me in a headlock and beat me up later if i say anything well i feel like <laughs> yes <laughs> You're not funny, Jesse from Breaking Bad, I ordered from Wish. But I think what it is, is as she's got to this like age in life, when you get there, then you start thinking, hang on, no, I know how to do things properly. And When she realizes what her life has become, and I mean, maybe they don't care. Maybe they just, they're gonna go on and do their own vlogs and do everything else and make a ton of money, whatever the case may be. But a lot of these family vloggers don't realize that their kids, this shit is gonna backfire on them eventually. It will backfire on them specifically a girl named like Mia who has grown up with maybe one or two friends in the places that she's landed, but has like been a nomad. Not only do they have no education, you should hear like, and this is not making fun of Mia. This is actually the scariest part of her life. She's very, very ill educated. Like, like there's a book out there and everything else. And the way that she writes, the way that she talks, their education is shit. And I'm wondering if they left because they did this life and Costa Rica doesn't give a shit about their education, right? They're, they're foreign nationals, right? They don't give a shit. They're from different countries, so they don't have to follow the same rules. These kids are not educated properly. That's one of the major issues with FizzFam is that because they're nomads, because they're, they're drifters, they don't have to follow anybody's rules for any countries. They don't have to submit things for homeschooling or anything like that. They just do what they want and then they vlog. Better, and then we're like, okay, thanks for your input. Like, so I think there's more of like a debate Thanks, teenager, for your input. How often, people, parents of teenagers out there, how often is your teenager giving you input? You're like, hey, that's really good. I mean, it probably does happen once in a blue. And sometimes you're like, damn it, that was good advice. But often it's like, oh yeah, sounds good. No, I'll, I'll think about it. As opposed yeah, to I feel like it's me mainly getting on to me and telling her about her room and things like that. And it all went, oh, it's all on her brand new shoes. <laughs> it's when we were living in Dubai, we went on a vacation. To <laughs> when we were living in Dubai. Georgia. They were living in Dubai and went on vacation to Georgia. Are you hearing this? Living in Dubai and went on vacation. <laughs> Their whole life is an effing vacation. With Koa. Yeah. Can you remember? Yeah, yeah. It was embarrassing and it was really gross. I think she was <laughs> she just wanted to disappear. There's been a lot though. Mia is um <laughs> Forgive me, Mia, if you're watching this, you know, like, um, you're quite, she's quite clumsy. Yeah, I feel like her teenage so, hormones In make terms her. of most embarrassing. Her teenage hormones make her clumsy. Moment, there's quite a lot of them, like, we'd have to get a tally <laughs> chart out. Get overwhelmed by those things. Available in all major retailers. <laughs> there's the book. And on. Awkward to Awesome, My Guide to Being Confident, Dealing with Hate, and Getting Through Puberty. Wow. I wasn't trying to plug, I'm just saying, like, all good to awesome books. No, no, she, like, she why said, not? It's she, a brilliant book. She You've wanted, just I'd like to point out, she's only 16, not even through puberty yet. Like, puberty's up to, like, what, 18, 20, something like that? Like, she's halfway through that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, Sienna yeah. is now, like, the the demographic now, <laughs> where she started reading it. Oh, so yeah. I, like I have read it yeah. before, but I didn't oh. quite understand it at the same level, because I think I was... Seven yeah. Your sister's got some good Likely because you guys can't read because you're not schooled properly. That's that's what it is. Yeah, she, she didn't enjoy traveling around and just wanted to stay in one place. I love you so much. With Mia, I feel like she's very much like you. When you're going to star signs, I feel like Mia is a Sagittarius and they are just like really well chill. Known for wanting to travel and move around all the time. Like I like traveling, but I like Sagittarius. Give me a break. Doing it more slowly, but Mia would happily like go backpacking. Just be on the go all the time. Yeah, maybe yeah, if yeah. I didn't. Yeah, Mia, don't go backpacking around the world by yourself. Take security, guns. You're a public figure. Don't go. It's going to end up being like one of those Saw movies or whatever. Kids, so I'd feel a bit more like I'd want to be more wild like that. But she's got loads of plans that she wants to go travel with her friends. So I think she wants to be like an au pair. Maybe Mia's life families. will become Mia's travels. Yeah, I think. Mm. I, I know she definitely. Yeah, 
here's your channel, I guess. She wants to do that, which is nice. And she's always said that when we travel, when we're moving and traveling around a lot, she feels the most happiest than when we're in one place. So I think she just likes more stimulation. Yeah. Really. As it doesn't annoy the rest of us, but it annoys Georgie. But there's little things, you know, yeah. you spend too much time together yeah. and then like you well, get little. Don't you feel like me and me are more like sisters? Because of the age gap, people always say that me and me are sometimes more like sisters than our. Yeah, I'm sure people say, oh, you're like her sister. No, you look like her mom. Chill with that. Maybe a guy saying that because he's trying to hit on you, but you don't look like her sister. Chill. Relationship. Like, I'm an extremely bossy big sister to her. Right. Also known as a mother. A bossy mom. That's it. Hashtag bossy mom. I take on a mum role, but also a good like sister. But she does. Is that it? Okay. Another thing where she clicks her neck, as you probably all saw on the chiropractor video. Yeah. It's Friday afternoon back cracking time. Oh, stop it. This thing she has ever done. She doesn't really do mean things, does no, she? No, I think me is like really kind and really tries her best yeah. to be. You know what? I don't want to say it. But they, okay, maybe Mia didn't do the mean thing, but what these two people did, I can't even say who it was to, because I don't want to, because I've been asked not to, but what these people did was some of the most disgusting things I've ever seen other people do. I wish I could tell you. I really do. It's, it's, it's very similar to what Shannon Rose and what uh, Love Med did to me, calling me something that I was not. They did that. I'm not going to tell you to who, but they did it. And it's absolutely most disgusting you could do to anybody. That's why I hate these people the most. Because of the lengths they're willing to go to save their paychecks, to not come back home, and to alienate their daughter. And I won't say from who. You guys can make guesses. Sweet everyone. Ooh! This is a juicy one. Does she have a crush on any boys in Oh, I can ask. I can ask. <laughs> I can ask. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chin. Chill. So basically, there's this boy at the basketball court and the skate park, and he's got um, a UTV, is that what it's called? He's a UTI? A UTV, okay. Also got a six pack, and so that's why they were <laughs> I, I know that she does like him, but she's not like trying to like take it too seriously. I think she is. Move back to England when she leaves home, or will she live? Pay attention to this question. Where you live. Because we've spoken about like when she's going to move out and stuff. Because some people move out like 18 or 16 or where even younger than that, like me, Georgie. Yeah. But I think she likes being also the way a lot of people do it around here is they have like a little annex or something built like next to the house, and yeah. then their teenage. No, get out of the family, Mia. I don't know if you watch these videos. Do yourself a favor and escape from this. This is not a reality you want to be a part of. Go try to do something else, okay? I promise when you escape from this probably tough lifestyle, and like, let's be real, there's a lot of pressure on these families to, to keep acting and showing off their life that it's fake. You'd probably be better off. Go to college is what you need to do. They haven't mentioned that yet. What about college? What about higher education? Some degree of something. Trades, college, degrees, reading, <laughs> writing. Or early 20s will literally live there, so they're kind of like still in the same place. Aren't I they? feel like there's no. Why is there no conversation literally about college? I know college isn't the end all, but I want that for my kids. I want my kids to go to college. I want them to have a higher education. Why are they not even talking about that? For her to move back. I think, and I think the answer is, is because she wouldn't even be able to be, she would never get accepted into college or university because they don't have a formal education. Someone needs to look into that that knows more about Fizz family, tell me about their education, because if they're shirking the responsibility for their children to have a good education, that is one of the worst things you can do to your kids. I'm not saying homeschooling is wrong. I'm saying it could be amazing. If you teach them, if they're learning, not if you just like do whatever you want and then that's it. That doesn't make sense to me. And then she has said that she may like have a base with us and then she can go traveling from here. So I'm always gonna keep like a room or a space for Mia to live with us. So she can do that, but she knows she's always got somewhere for her to go to if she wants. Also college, also college. Like I always wanna do that for all of my kids and the grandchildren. But does she wanna move back to England? No, from what we gather, she wants to do long trips yeah. and then come back to us. So she wants yeah. to go do like- This is the problem here. Mia has been groomed and alienated from her family. She's not this guy's daughter. 
I'm not telling you names. I'm not going to give you stories, but it absolutely has happened, and it's actually one of the scariest things I've ever seen. I wish I could tell you more, but I can't. And like, do things in England, but I don't think she wants to live there at the moment. Like, if she wants, I feel like she's. They're very serious about this topic too. Their demeanor changed about England because who's in England? Everybody, put it together. And she wouldn't mind going to like the U.S. countries like that, but then also like new countries like Cambodia or somewhere. Oh, this. Is Maybe don't go to Cambodia by yourself as a teenage girl. Just saying. Take some people with you. Good one. Does Mia actually cook bake or is it just for clout? Who bakes for clout? Micah. Micah does. <laughs> what it is, is because Mia always raves about how cake, how amazing it is. It's like she's got this banana bread recipe thing, cake. I love banana bread with all my heart. If you are a DCP fan, okay, and you make banana bread, that's like, we're friends forever. Banana bread is like, hoo, 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 hoo. I would fall in love. Like if I wasn't married and someone made banana bread and it was good and I didn't even, I didn't even have to see you. It's just, there's a whole bunch of ladies who want to date, you know, a fat, balding loser dude who lives in his parents' basement. And I didn't even see them. And they lined up all the banana bread they baked. Okay. And I ate the banana bread and it was amazing. doesn't even matter because you baked the best banana bread. That's how shallow I am with banana bread. This dog is farting. It's like the eighth fart he's let go in here, and it is hazy in here. Just want to let you guys know the shit that I have to put up with to do these videos for you. All the recipes that we've shared are really, really delicious. I feel like her donut recipe, loads of you guys have made, but as a baby. You he wouldn't know. Obviously you don't know. But me, when me was a baby, considering <laughs> that I was only 16, I found it really, really... Remember, guys, there are so many of these family vloggers we have seen now at least five who have built successful family vlogs that is exploitation of children, you know, translated, who were teen pregnant mom, who were pregnant teen moms, okay, who were teen moms, which just goes to show that bad decision making, that bad decision making from a teenager who can't give informed consent, specifically about sex, we just talked about that in the last video, kids, the frontal cortex isn't even formed until you're 25 years old. So imagine... Her, 16, Jess Fam, 17, all the uh, Weiss Life, 17, all having these babies and then making this decision to exploit their children. Yeah, duh. It's just a natural thing because they, oh, they've made bad decisions since they're young and then they continue to make bad decisions. So, yeah. To look after her. She was cheeky, but she did listen to me. If we went out for a meal, like as with my friends, they'd always be laughing because Mia would like be running off the table and going behind the countertop in the restaurant and like pouring all the salt on the table. But I think as I was a teenage mum, I wasn't as strict with her and as disciplined, so she was probably just pushing the boundaries. But an everyday- It's also important to say, I think we have to do a whole teen mom video. We have to do a whole one based on, maybe I'll see if Dr. Kirk can come on and talk about being a teen mom, the psychology behind it. <clears throat> because I know a lot of teen moms um, treat their kids as if they are friends and not mothers. They are not fully developed as people anyway. They're not fully mature. A lot of teen moms, they just, they aren't prepared for that. And it shows, right? I know that specifically in my family. Okay. I very, very close to it. Have seen it up close, really up close. Okay. And I don't like, I'm sure that there are some, some successful teen parents. Sure. There are. Okay. But when it comes to, t to teen parents and like fame, internet fame, influencer culture and all that stuff, none of them are good. Like they might look good on the surface because they're sh what they're showing you, but just on the just on the basis alone that they didn't get educations, that they didn't get jobs, that they exploit their family for money alone means that it's a bad choice and that they continue to make bad choices. But we're gonna have to cover that whole thing. That's an entire topic. Does Mia actually work out or does she just say that? By the way, love your channel. <laughs> She is such a faker when it comes to work. I can't it. Yes. The community where we live, like, well, in Costa Rica in general, actually, yeah. people really seem to like keeping fit. Like, everyone's up. You know why? It's because you sweat your ass off all day long in Costa Rica, I think. I've never been there. Have I been there? I've never been there. But yeah, basically, if you're just going to sweat all day, probably, there's probably not a lot of really fat people in hot countries. Are there? I don't know. I'm very ignorant of that. I feel like it, I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong. She plays basketball every day. She goes for really long. She plays basketball because the guy with the abs. That's but that's I mean, hey, if you're getting exercise because you like someone, I think that's a good reason to like better yourself. I, I'm okay with that. I literally picked up the guitar when I went to Bible college to pick up girls. Was the only reason I picked up the guitar was to impress girls? No. Did it impress girls? Also, no. 
but I did it for that reason. Planning on getting pregnant and is she planning on it being... What the heck kind of question is this? Again, look at this girl. She looks like she's 13. Jess K.O. This is a question a 13 or 14 year old girl is asking. When is she planning on getting pregnant? What kind of question is that from a 13 year old? After marriage. I don't think anybody is planning <laughs> on getting pregnant. They I don't plan it. This Lots of people, this is your opportunity here to be a parent and say, yeah, lots of people plan to get pregnant when they're in a loving, committed relationship. So why didn't he say that? I feel like maybe like... You know, because she didn't, because she, she got pregnant when she was 16. So no, the right answer here as influencer parents, okay, the influence you have over young kids that are asking these questions is to say, you know what? It's really important to talk to your parents about these type of things, but what we encourage our kids to do is to be in a committed, loving relationship or marriage before you make that choice because bringing a kid into the world is really difficult. It's really expensive. It's really rewarding, but it's not something you want to do as a teenager, right? It's something, my house rule, the only one hard and fast rule in this house, beat teen pregnancy. I'll give you a trophy. Do you do like think about like what the names of your kids are going to be and when you're going to get married? Like you do sort of think about your future. I think there's so much pressure. This was an inappropriate question. Like you know when you're at school and there's like what do you want to do for your career for the rest of your life? Those kids don't go to school, buddy. Uh, make a decision it's too now. Hard to make decisions like you like change. That. You don't have to either. Exactly. Okay, Dollarama, Orlando Bloom. You guys answered this wrong, big time. Life's an evolving process, yeah. so. Maybe she'll get married at some point, even though she says she doesn't like yeah. the idea of getting married now. Was Mia breastfed? What? Who asked that question? Yes, Mia was. Even though I was a teenage mom, I was really, really adamant that I wanted to breastfeed her. This little girl sitting here. I, I Look, I understand that Like we can talk about this stuff, but consider your audience. Consider that there's a little girl sitting here. Why are they answering these types of questions? Who cares? And I can't remember how... What? Okay. The person that asked that question, or anybody who would ask that question, hey, answer me this question. Why does that matter to you? When you get your answer, if she would have said no, would that have affected you some way? If she said yes, does that affect you some way? Why is this a question? Why? I did it for, but maybe like a year. Not as long as I've been doing it for with Kara and Koa. How old was Mia when she had her first kiss? This is what I'm talking about, everybody. When it comes to information that does not need to be on the internet for everybody here. Mia is about to have this re this information about her first kiss released to the entirety of their two something million fans. Okay? And you're not going back. There's no putting the genie in the bottle after this. They probably made a video about it anyway. But why are you answering this question? This is nobody's business. I think that, yeah, I have when I was like, what? I can't remember what video it was. I because we've done so many videos about our kids' personal, we don't even know which one it is. I think it's like uh, an official sort of kiss. Does she really enjoy hanging out with the family or does she prefer to hang out with her friends? Let me stop you there. These kids don't have any friends. In Costa Rica, they've been there for a month now. They took a month off, like they're building a house or doing something. She might have friends, like to a degree, but how strong can a friendship possibly be when you are always moving? It's one thing that cursed me as a child. I've moved over 35 times in my life when I was young. I moved every and ever I made friends and then I would move and I would lose contact with some friends. I still have some contact with friends that I've, you know, that really, really close friends that I had, but I, I don't have any childhood friends where I just call my hey, childhood friend. I don't have that. That is really detrimental to kids. It's one thing we want to do. We want to stay where we are until the kids are done school, at least. You know, but my daughter Everly has a friend and they have been friends since that Everly was born, and then we have a photo of Everly on that mom's belly before that kid was born, like three months later, and they've been friends since birth, and to this day, are best friends. That is something we need to foster as parents and our kids to have solid friends. When you move around for content for a YouTube channel, for whatever reason, maybe it's legal troubles you're trying to escape, or whatever the case may be, that is not conducive to good parenting or conducive to a good childhood. Ask any military family, I think she's enjoying her new, very busy social life. Yeah. Isn't she? I think she does like hanging around with us. Like the other day we wanted to go to the beach and she really wanted to come with us. And I feel like if we want to go away and road trip, she does. I do think that she likes going out as well. Like getting away from the dirty nappies and the screaming. She's, yeah. You know, getting to go out and have pizza with her friends and watch the sunset. And this is another lie that these people, that specifically the Fizz fan perpetuates. Again, these kids don't have a solid base of friends. None of them do. And I'm not making fun of them. I'm saying that's really sad. 
So no, they don't. There, if this is, you can tell when they answer a question when it's a complete and utter lie, bullshit lie. This is one of those times. Now looking at the camera, their demeanor changes. Their kids don't have friends and they know it. Remember when Ruby from A Passenger did a video with her son and he was crying because he didn't have any friends because they can't have friends. That is one of the most dangerous things. That's one of the saddest things about family vloggers that none of these kids can really have any friends because your shit's online for everybody to watch forever. Well, I don't blame her. Like, she's old enough now to go out, and I'm really happy for her. Yeah. Really happy. Yeah, you look happy for her. She'd be disappointed if Mia got pregnant. Where, again, the girl looks like she's 12 in this picture. Why are they asking these questions? This is this, another reason this is so scary. This is so eye-opening to me as I watch this. These little girls are asking a family vlogger questions. A mommy vlogger who is an influencer, who now has influence over these little kids, she has that influence. Clearly, they're asking the question. Why? This is scary. That little girl likely doesn't have anybody else to go to, and they're going to give it, take advice from a family that exploits their children? This is why this is scary, folks. Are you paying attention? Are your eyes opening yet? Um, yeah, I would be disappointed. Well, it's because it's like, that's your sole life focus from that yeah. moment on. Yeah. So she's told us about a lot of things that she has planned, what she wants to do. So I mean, Why do you continue to talk about your daughter's pregnancy like there's this the mul there's multiple questions about her pregnancy and about her choices like in her like marriage and sex and like everything else that is inappropriate she's still a teenager don't answer those questions and don't forget they had to pick these questions so to me i'm upset that these are the questions they're choosing to answer they know why they're answering the questions they know why they know who's watching they know the engagement's going to be high in these types of questions and likely i think this is one of the ones they put in their uh thumbnail that would just be the end of it all. I also feel like you had a baby very young. And yeah. Then... If Mia did have a baby, just hypothetically speaking, I would still love her and the baby unconditionally, and I'd be there. Would you? That's nice. Yeah, one hundred percent. But I'm not going to encourage that to happen. Yeah. And I would be disappointed. Yeah. I don't even think the word would be disappointed in her. I think it'd be more concerned. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't want that. Kids out there watching this, don't take their advice. Okay. They're, they don't know what they're talking about, okay? These are questions that shouldn't even be answered to none of their, it's none of your business to know about her pregnancy life, but what happens if a teenage girl gets pregnant. The fact that you're coming to these people for these types of, this type of advice is scary. Go speak to your parents if you can, and if you don't, seek out a mentor. Stop relying on these people who are terrible people. They need to ever feel like we were disappointed about them coming into this world. But this is why it's yeah. very important for like the mum and the teenage daughter to have a really good relationship so they can talk to yeah. each other yeah. and make sure, you know. Also important for a daughter to have a good relationship with her dad who wants a relationship with her, but has been totally and utterly brainwashed and changed and transformed and taken out of a country and not brought back on purpose to have that relationship and to be raised with somebody who's not her father. We've like had some happen. big talks, we've had some big serious talks lately, and yeah, maybe Mia, I think Mia's thinking about writing a puberty book soon. About there was already a book about puberty. Growing up and, more and she's not grown up, she's 16. Depth, and I feel like me and Mia might write that together, or Mia might get some help from like a That's expert. A ghostwriter, yeah. My, you know, puberty expert. Puberty is... We need to make money. Yeah. It's a, it's a we need to make money off my teenage daughter's puberty. Come on, people. Does this not sicken you? It should sicken you. Honestly, halfway through that video, I was like, I don't want to continue this video. But then I realized that there were some questions in there and some, some eye-opening things that we're looking at. Okay? Answering questions are inappropriate. Some of the phrases that she says are really, really eye-opening. But I always, with the, when it comes to the Fizz fam, one of the things that bugs me the most about them is this idea that she actually does have another side of her family that loves her, that never gets to see her, that never will, and have no legal standing. Well, they do, but can't. And I can't tell you why. Um, I wish I could, man. I hope someday that, that that person gets justice for what's going on. And we have to like dig in a little bit deeper to find out what's going on with the family and their education. Okay, it's, it's crazy. The Fizz fam is nuts. And they just make money. They don't educate their kids. And then they, they're, the mom's like a friend. It's not, it's not, none of these kids are being raised right, is what I'm saying. Okay, and they're all being raised to be narcissists like their parents and to be, go on to do family vlogs and that stuff. So kids, when kids leave that life, with the roll-offs, like uh, John K plus eight, Mia from John K plus eight, I think her name's Mia. Um, they leave that life. They don't want anything to do with it. And so when you see Jess Fan, all these people saying, oh, my kids are going to continue on with it. Likely, they don't want to be putting up with that stuff. Look at uh, Ruby 
uh, Sherry Frank from Eight Passengers. I'm done with this shit. Bye. Even though she had 430,000 subscribers. Okay. They're seeing how bad it is for their mental health and these kids are making their own decisions to leave. I don't think Mia will because Mia's not educated, unfortunately. That sucks for Mia. But they don't have any plans for their future. They just want her there to make content. It's gross. Anyway, hopefully that was a little bit eye-opening. It was eye-opening for me to continue down the FizzFam, you know, dumpster fire of a family. Um, stay tuned. We're going to be covering more this week. we got lots going on. Take a deep breath. <sighs> My lungs are like full of spit right now and <clears throat> I'm so sick. Um, but anyway, like me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook and all the places and Twitter and all the, love it. You guys are beautiful and incredible. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and for being a part of this conversation. I will see you tomorrow.